Hello everybody. So I'm gonna be playing a little bit of Despot's game. I've played the demo for this before, and it looks like an unfinished session. Oh, the mic's like running over my save data, but that's fine. I'll start from scratch. Uh, I played a bit of the demo for this, and I really enjoyed it before it came out. And I've seen a couple people I have watched play it and really enjoy it as well. So I was like, eh, let's give it another shot. Uh, after many failed attempts, you managed to summon you. You're the chosen one. Only you can save this doomed world. Gets me every time. In truth, you're just one puny human about to perish in the dun dungeon tunnels. If you make it through to the end, there's a surprise waiting for you. I doubt you will, but still. Proceed to the next room and I will pr proceed to give you more instructions. Okay. So, the way this game works, uh, each one of these characters has a different class. Except for this one, he's like a puny human with nothing. Um, so, the goal is to kind of get to the bottom. And as you like have different people on the squad, it'll actually, they'll get different set bonuses, which is like super helpful. Uh, sorry to like lower my audio. So yeah, they let you just uh, click and move stuff. So I want him further back more likely than not. Let's hit fight. So this is an auto battler. So the main thing you have to really focus on is getting people set up in the right spot. I didn't really want him to die, but that's fine. Yeah, the problem with the, the regular humans is they kind of just run in like idiots. Each time a human's active ability is used, random right, takes magic damage. Okay. So the other thing is like you get a bunch of genetic abilities that trigger. And as you see from the map up here, it tells me what each room will have. Um, okay. Yeah, so this is like the bonus you can do based on the tokens you have, which I might boost some of their health and see from there. The other thing to factor in is the food. So every room they move from, they eat, and it's based on if people are in the actual squad. Let me move him further back so he doesn't just run himself to death. So the goal for this one, at least, is letting the tank eat most of the damage. But certain enemy types will, like... Oh, it's a little close. Okay, so certain enemy types will kind of, like, screw up your plans. I feel like having a few tanks might not be a bad idea. Let's put you up front. I kind of... I'm going to upgrade the shop. Doesn't help me right now, but at least the next one I might have a chance of getting like a healer or something. Uh, let's move down and get the food. I want to do a full clear. Yeah, because I can move left to get these other ones. So let's put you here. Okay. and let's get this so we have a little bit more food we're not running through a lot with this team size because it's relatively small so the way the set bonuses works you have to have like different types so like i have two different shield dudes but i would need a different oh no don't die a unique different um other shield person for this to proc i'm gonna reroll I don't want it though. I guess they're just forcing me to take this. It's fine. So I want to move you here. I really would have rather the healer, <laughs> but they kind of took away my choice there. Um, he's probably dead next fight, which sucks. Let's put him like. Can I put you further back into the room? Oh, I see. There's a box here that tells me the actual area they can all be in. Let's take a shot here. I kind of assume since this is like semi still tutorial that this might end up being a wash. Yeah, he's dead because he's just running himself under it. So he's dead. Uh, sometimes the chance of them dropping the weapon that they died with. Oh, this is like a little close. But we should be fine. I don't think we're losing anyone else because I think the tanks have enough. But this is where like having a healer would be pretty great. Teleport you to a random room. Create some newbies on free tiles. Yes, I want that. I would prefer not to be sent to a random room. Because I could see that being very bad. The humans find an open air gym. Even though they're still in the maze. So the air is not really open. Do some cardio. Work on biceps. Let's do some biceps. They spend four food. Melee fighters receive a bonus damage. For others, the training was kind of useless. 
Um, I guess that works for my shield, dudes. So what I could do here is buy this and buy that. Yeah, I was gonna like say I could use the this to generate somebody, but I kind of don't think it makes sense. I wouldn't have enough to buy anything else here. So we'll just see what the next room has in store for me. So now I have like the three shield proc, but I think I need one more for it to be better. So yeah, they can do a taunt that'll like make enemies focus them. There we go. Okay, healers and a chainsaw. So I have seven, I have 19 points. I can afford a healer, but only one. Um. Let's get armor. I might just take the plague mask. I can afford, yeah, just a human. So let's just do that. So this person will hopefully heal up this guy and not run himself into death. I'm still doing pretty fine on food. I think right now the goal is probably to have the tanks and then some range damage. Yeah, this is decent so far. I'm going to get more food, just because I really don't want to end up in a bad position in regards to the health. I think we're fine to keep going with this. Are you healing anyone? I prefer if you healed him, please. He's kind of just dancing. Oh, no, he's healing. Okay. See, the other thing is some enemies will like just disrupt your back row and not really care. Uh, cultists rise from the dead. If humans die in a fight, other humans eat a... Unit of food per survivor and get a bonus. Eggheads. Let's reroll. So I get three free rerolls? Okay. Mm. All abilities are triggered 1.5 times. It's more likely. Thunderbolt becomes chain lightning. I don't have that. Cooldowns are shorter. Attack bonus. Fenders can rise from the dead. I guess I could do that and start. Getting fencers? It's not really optimal, but whatever. I wasn't really feeling the other ones as much. Yep, there we go. Still is a doing fine food-wise. I might want to start putting into some perks. I just wanted to wait yet to see if I got anything good here. So I already have that. So like when you hover over it, if you already have them, it kind of like grays everyone else out. It's a not super apparent, but it, I mean, it's, it is, but it isn't. Um, I think I want to reroll. I already have one of these. I don't have this. So what's the shooter bonus? I could get that. So this would cost me 15. Let's get that. And it might not hurt to just get an egghead and use this thing. So, like, I'm a little... This is a little silly. Honestly, it's a little too much going on, but I think it's okay. Uh, so, everyone's got something. Can I upgrade anything? I have 10. So, I could get more attack speed, more mana. Let's do the more mana. Just because... Uh, that way they can, like, heal a bit more. Because once your healers run out of things to do, they'll just kind of run forward and try to fight, and I don't really want them to do that. I think with this weird build, I might stick with the one healer and just... Let's get food. I think I'll stick with the one healer and just make the rest of them kind of damagey. That's contemporary art. I'm one step away from a breakthrough in damage absorption, but the final part is somewhere else. Can you bring it to me? Right, sure, because we ain't got nothing better to do than collect random giant cube parts. Deal. I believe that was sarcasm, but he seemed to be okay with it. That sounds like it's probably a buff for my tanks. I could be wrong, but that's what it sounds like. So let's hope that that's what that is. So I think I hit tab. So there's an event up there. I feel like that's probably the thing he wants me to get. 
So, so far, yeah, we're like the food thing's gonna start becoming a problem somewhat soon. This should be fine. Come on. I don't know who. So he is healing him, it's just very slow. Oh, we found the key part. That came out less cool sounding than I thought. Yeah, I mean, it was a little lame sounding. I think we should buy food just because I don't want to end up traveling back and not having enough to do it. So the thing with the teleporters is it costs you nothing to use it, I think, food-wise. But obviously you have to get to the room. Um, what could be missing? What would you rather? 25 tokens or secret damage absorption? Secrets. Now witness the assembling. I feel like this is going to kill him somehow. Nope. He lives. Okay. So what does that do? Oops. Uh, tanks taunt the whole room for the half the duration. Interesting. So I think now the goal is probably just to do the boss fight. Oh no, there's a room right below it. Let's do this room first. Yeah, that taunt's kind of strong, I think. I really want... I feel like we need another tank to keep the synergy going. Let's reroll. So the chance of rare is 0%. So if you upgrade again, we have a higher chance. So it might be worth... Let's upgrade again. Okay. So at least now, I have a higher chance of getting a rare. It's kind of a investment for the future, I'm hoping. Um. Alright, let's fight. I really need you to keep my tanks alive. If the sword guy dies, I'm hurt, but I'm not as concerned. Just because I don't have a sword's energy right now. Create new newbies on free tiles. Disables hunger for the next fight. I'm going to go with the newbies. Because I'm kind of just assuming I might lose people. And it might be a good idea to keep that. Uh, Pixel Knight is walking in circles on the screen, fighting monsters. He walks on his own. He fights on his own. All you can do is play terrain cards. So this is the Loop Hero reference. This game's a lot of references to other games. I'm going to go Battlefield. He finds a sword. Break the cycle. Yeah, let's break the cycle. Machine turns off, a seed compartment opens and drops a sword. Nice. Well, that sucks. We already have that sword. Ah, uh, yes. A boulder. And a human. I could... Theoretically, I don't want him too far up, just because he's not high enough level yet. I could theoretically, um make someone else but give them the sword but as you see my food supply is actually running kind of low so i have to kind of hope that either Ooh. so we're about to run out of food and i believe that means you'll start losing health from room to room so maybe that disabling the food wasn't a bad idea oh no they killed my back row oh, i was one of my gun dudes too and he did not drop the gun uh shield is helpful so i think i grabbed the shield because i don't think i have that one i do actually that was silly Shh. damn um i could get another egghead but we're really bad for food right now so i think i think we just sit with this and save the tokens for food we could probably actually know i could do you can move around the food, but the hunt. Okay. I think the smart thing to do here, make these newbies, and just you can sacrifice them to get food. Don't worry, you're dying for the greater cause. All right, so we fight. Okay, so right now what we really need is some synergies and food. Uh, this does not help us. She uses a penetrating shot to deal damage to all targets. This isn't bad. I might have to just take this. But I really only have the two shooters. I'm going to take it, just because I don't want to reroll and get something that's, like, not helpful to anyone on the team. 
The problem is now we're hitting a lot of rooms with no food back to back. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so this is getting dangerous. Everyone's like super low. I don't really want another healer. Let's reroll. No, I should get a gun. I'm gonna buy a couple of these as the idea is I think that not everyone's gonna make it. Let's reroll one more time. Mm, yeah. Because I, I always have this to like make newbies. So I think I might want to just take that and kind of assume that some of these people are not going to make it. Especially because we... I think we just do the boss fight. I think what the sensible thing here is, since I know people are not going to live, let's do this. Because not everyone's coming out of this fight alive. <laughs> Oh, it's this guy. He likes to teleport to the back row and, like, start swinging. Oh, no. Yep, there goes the shooter. Yeah, I'm going to assume a lot of people are going to die in this room. Yeah, I think the taunt was good, but I think because he just teleported to the back row, he, they just didn't care. He's almost done. Oh. Okay, so that's a lot of people gone. Fully heal selected unit. Disables hunger for the next fight. So we haven't gone up here. But I kind of feel like that isn't a smart choice. So I feel like what we do is... We heal. Uh, we still have the tank bonus. I feel like we just go down. Because we don't have enough food to really go around a bunch of rooms. And I didn't get food here either. Coming across a hologram, smiling skeleton with most of its neon skin peeling off. It stands next to a wheel that looks like a giant dartboard. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Uh, the hologram is quite glitchy. Let's spin the wheel. Uh, you want a mutation, a useful explosive mutation. From now on, your humans will blow up when they die. Oh, uh, that sounds terrifying. Well, at least it only does damage to nearby enemies. Because my fear was it was going to just wipe out everyone. I don't think upgrading again makes sense here. I think giving everyone more health is smart. Uh, I think you can sell these to the shop. Can you? Oh, yes, you can. So let's sell these two. And buy a human. And give them the bow. And now we have to pray that we get food. I might have to just... Yes, so these next rooms are food. So I think what I do is do that. Move him. And then we just go buy food after this. Okay, so... I think we go to this top room. It's got a teleporter. Actually, we're going to this bottom room first. I would love to buy things here, but we need food more. Um, let's heal. Since we have it, we might as well use it. I want to buy stuff, but I think it's still smart to just go for um, food right now. Especially with how low we are. And it's two of these guys. See, the taunt doesn't seem to affect him, because he kind of got taunted and just immediately ran to the back row. Um, he might get one of our dudes here. Unless they all converge on this one now. Okay. So our healer is like almost dead. Well, one of our healers. I'm gonna just get as much food as I can here. I think that is a wise choice. Alright. Oh, that's a lot of stuff in this room. I'm assuming these dudes heal? Well, heal the enemies, not us, unfortunately. Yeah, more disruptive enemies that just like to run around. I think someone just died. No, okay. I saw the skeleton here and thought someone died. Uh, fencers, summon tentacles, no. I'll build you cooldowns, tricksters. Let's reroll one more time and hope. Shears return 6% damage back to enemies. 
I think that's what we go with. All right, so let's go down here. We are looking not super great. He's got like 590. So let's put you further back. You have a lot of health. Holy hell. So let's move you around. I need you to like heal these guys as quick as possible. They kind of just ignored my guy with the most health and ran right for these two. And that's probably the way the taunt is triggering. We could go for another egghead. I really think having the other tank might be helpful here. We already have that. We could... It might not hurt to go in the direction of just... Let's just reroll one more time and see. This would give us the healer bonus. Right? Because we only have... We have two healers? Who are they? The defibrillator and that dude? Alright, so let's do that. So you get this, you get that. So he takes up a lot of space, but I think he has a good amount of health. So we'll move him up a little bit. So that's the boss fight. I kind of don't think that's a smart choice. So let's teleport to the f this food room and fight these guys. And of course it is more tanks. I mean, more samurai. Oh, he killed someone. Yeah, so I feel like the point of the... What do you call it? The taunt becomes useless when they can just ignore the taunt altogether. Let's buy some more food. Because I feel like it's kind of pointless because once they get to that back row, it's kind of like, okay, now what? Um, I don't want you up front. Like, I feel like our healer needs to get to these guys a lot faster. And he's kind of not. Move you up a little bit. Let's just move the healers to be closer to, like, the people I want healed and see if that helps. See, so yeah, he's just going straight past everyone. Like, these two tanks. Um, We're getting close to an engineer build. And I don't think it's a bad idea at this point, just because it doesn't hurt. I want the shooter bonus back. Because now we're doing like a lot better food wise. I want to go here, but I feel like it just makes sense to go here and then teleport back over there. We'll buy a little bit more food. Because we have a very big group of 14 people. I'm kind of burning through tokens a lot, and I should probably be buying a lot more upgrades. Uh, move you here. My healers are slowly starting to do their job, but it's not quick enough. What is the engineer bonus? I know at one point they get a turret. Oh, it's a tower. So I think they'll make the tower? Oh, he just punch people around. So yeah, this tower I think does either damage or it like, um, buffs. No, it's a buff tower. Okay, so I'm okay with that as long as everyone is getting buffed correctly. So yeah, you have no control once the fight starts, so if they are not aligned right, they will just get punched over and over again. Come on. You guys are almost there. There we go. That wasn't bad. Um, Let's go with the heal. And I want to heal you. And I want to heal you. And I think that's fine. I think I hold the other heal just for uh, if we need it. I think we just go to that room over there too. Oh no, not these guys. You guys got this. Yeah, if that buff tower did damage right now, it'd be pretty good. I think my healer's spending more time trying to keep himself alive than anything right now. All right, that room is successful. Get some more food. If we can get that last tank, I kind of want that buff. Um, let's actually do some upgrades here. 
So let's boost our attack speed, and then we'll do this armor bonus bonus next. Let's make our tanks a bit more tanky. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Mm, plasma gun. Do I want to have one more gunner? Do I want to have one more gunner? I mean, we got a decent amount into that, so it might not be a bad idea. Let's see. Let's do it. Oh, wait, no. I can't do it. I didn't think about that. It's fine. Um, I say we just live with it. Because I feel like... I feel like this is the same distance. I'll just spend some more money on food. Well, one more. And then go down. What's my event? A uh, dude in a strange dress materializes before you. Whoa. Is this for real? Are you from 2022? Two? Uh, nuts. I can't believe it. What country are you from? Who are you? Can you remember or pass before the maze? Because we can't. I must be the chosen one then. I end up here after making a wish in a strange heathen temple. It's a bit cliche, but appropriate for the genre. Um... You can be our lucky charm. Our militant world traveler hate these guys. Can we eat him? Let's take him, I guess. Richard joins the team. Let's see how this show's one holds up. Uh, which one's Richard? Oh, him. And he's got the gun. Cool. He's got the other gun we were looking for. Well, at. Um, I don't think we want anything here. So we just go up here. And then let's start this fight. Okay. These guys are doing a chunk. Yeah, they're kind of strong. But we are making it through pretty solidly. Uh, ability cooldown, Thunderbolt, Tricksters. When healing healers restore 30% of mana to that target. That's not bad. Let's do that. Because then if they heal themselves or each other, it should technically work. So we're going to need to buy food soon. What is this guy? Yeah, please get rid of him. Well, this guy too. But, whoa. He just killed a tank. Yeah, he just killed one of our tanks. I'm not sure what happened there. I don't think I was eyeing his health correctly, and he got, like, deleted. Okay, so let's heal you. And then I think we... Might have to just buy a dude, give him this, we have the tank bonus back. Let's reroll. Reroll again. I really want this last tank bonus. I don't think we're gonna find it here. Yes, there it is. Coffin. Okay, so what is this last tank bonus? I think this makes the taunt better, probably. You have a lot of health, even for like someone low. I want to move you back. Same with you. Okay. So I think I will come back to this because I have to run real quick. But I'll do a part two to this definitely.